Hello, welcome to the Two Minutes Conversation. My name is Yasunpa. In our previous conversation, we emphasized on equity and other forms of community-based financing. If you missed that episode, do check out the link in the caption. In today's conversation, we will emphasize on other forms of financing, particularly focusing on the entrepreneur. In many instances, we've thought of money as a single most important form of building an enterprise. And in some sense, it is true. But let me ask you, if you got all the money you needed for your enterprise, will it still work? We did a study in 2014 where we engaged thousands of Ghanaian enterprises. The results of that study will amaze you. Almost one in every two enterprises that got the necessary funding for their business still did not succeed. But the Boston Consulting Group has a very interesting statistic, which suggests that in five years, 32% probability of an existing company of failing. That's one out of three of every company existing in five years stands the chance of not working. What does it then take a business to succeed? If having all the access to all the finance is still not a guarantee of the success of the business, then what does the success of the business depend on? In today's episode, we will emphasize on a few. The very first thing I want to emphasize is that word entrepreneur. Many of us have come to think of it as a business term, but the origins of it are in art. It's actually somebody who directs a theatrical production. Yes, the origins of it came as somebody who typically nowadays would be called an anklebo white. So somebody whose sole purpose is to tell narratives tell narratives in a way of its fluid nature, but to be able to cast in a way that the story is coherent, but the output is loved by people. And so let's re-engage. If you're an entrepreneur, what you're doing is you're harnessing a story, but the story is an ability to select the right cast. The real entrepreneur is a person who chooses the right people for the idea, not only for the success of the idea, but for the future sustainability of the idea. Many of us do not prioritize the number of people we bring to the business. And so the success of an idea depends on the characters who act in the story. Not only that, it's also the processes and the system, the rehearsal, the repetition in the consistency in which you produce that superior output that relates to people's problems. As you think about yourself as an entrepreneur, it's important your primary narrative around that call is to think about yourself as a storyteller with the ability to select the right cast, but also to be able to tell the right story in a way that generates superior output. And so think about financing by all means, but also think about how do I get the right input, create the suitable environment to generate a superior output. In our subsequent conversations, we'll break this down a bit more. But until then, do think about financing. Yes, but note that financing does not guarantee success. You must construct as a storyteller. We will engage on this a bit more. It's been an honor bringing you this conversation. My name is Yao Sompa Uhuru.